Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be going into a little bit more in-depth discussion which uh, as to how I made the tubs that I'm keeping my green tree pythons in. Now, as a new green tree python owner, I did find it quite difficult when coming to find a enclosure that's either cost effective, space efficient, and simple. Now, green tree pythons can grow quite quickly depending on how you feed them, but uh, depending on how you wanna keep them can also house a bit of an issue when it comes to uh, spacing, space requirements, how you want it to look, and or ease of care. Now, green tree pythons are known for being pretty easy to look after in the right environment. Now, having that right environment can make things a lot easier as well. Now, as juveniles or neonates, uh, green tree pythons, they're probably easiest kept in tubs like you see right now. Now, a lot of times people end up purchasing, people end up purchasing tubs, tubs like this and just chuck a bit of gardening lattice in there. Now, that's completely fine. That's what I got. This is one of the enclosures I got from a breeder um, that this, this snake was held in. Now, works perfectly fine. Large surface area for the snake to grap, grapple onto or grip to. Um, like I said, a few air holes here and there. Uh, works just as fine. Now, in terms of a little bit more of a displayable snake, um, I ended up choosing to go down the route of this. Um, my first thought was to make some type of stand. So I went out and built something like this. Now, this is just made through gardening materials, um, little gardening irrigation. Now, this worked really well, but it was an extremely time consuming and actually pretty hard to make. And if you're good with your hands, like, like I consider myself, these are pretty easy, but you wanted something that not only looked nice, but was efficient and effective. Now, this looked really good. The snakes actually loved it, but having more snakes, uh, I'm a bit of a, I'd say OCD and like things to look the same. I couldn't replicate this exactly the same. Now, it's fine if you can. If you've got a, a machining tool, 3D printer, by all means you can make stuff like this and it looks absolutely awesome. But I chose to go with the wooden dowel and um, zip tie holders, which was an extremely easy and efficient way. Now, all I did, I went out and purchased these tubs. 7.9 liter system of tubs. Now, really easy. You can see them, not very big at all. And that's what they're in. These are just spares. And that's the basis of the tub that I used. Now, of course, you can see the takeaway containers in there as their water bowl. Very simple, very sterile, very easy to use and clean. Paper towel at the bottom. And they've just got wooden dowel. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter what wooden dowel. You just want to make sure that it's not going to hold too much moisture because mold and stuff can grow if the pythons uh, poo and wee on it, I guess. Now, the, the main thing a lot of people struggle with is finding what to use for these. Now, all these are, are zip tie holders. They're a stick on zip tie holders where you can basically put zip ties through the sides and it holds whatever the zip tie is holding. Um, absolutely uh, one of the most easiest and affordable things to use when it comes to making these snake enclosures. It's as simple as purchasing your wooden dowel, cutting it to length. You want it basically a little bit bigger or a little bit longer than what these are. Um, and they're a friction fit, so it's nothing hard to take out. It's as simple as popping one finger in, levering it off, and you got, that, got it out. And it's the exact same with the snake. So very, very simple and easy to use. And when they're on, you want it just tight enough so they don't spin. You can see if I roll it, it won't. With the snake, you can see, pushing on it, he moves slightly, but always comes back. So very, very simple when it comes to those uh, enclosures. Now, I've personally made bioactive enclosures for all these snakes, and these are just their juvenile growing out enclosures. I will take the tripod and show you some of these enclosures. You can see that I've got set up. Two of them are set up for the snakes currently. One of them are for the green tree frogs that I currently have. Now, you can also see 
what I've done in here with the PVC pipes. Um, scorched them and friction fitted them in there, but the friction fit I will be changing and I'm actually working on that in this enclosure at the moment, bit of a prototype. Um, but as for the green tree pythons, the neos that I have now, um, this is what we have going. Um, very, very simple, very sterile, easy to use with the paper towels. Very, very easy to use. Um, I don't think there's many explanations of me having to cut and show you guys because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's make sure that the zip tie holders are in the same position uh, on either side. Doesn't get much easier than that and therefore cut your wooden dowels and away you go. So that's just a brief explanation of how I made the green tree python tubs. I hope it actually helped some of you guys. Um, and I've just got them on a heat mat, by the way, just if you don't know, hooked up to a thermostat. So I hope that got, that helped you guys. A uh, little, bit, little bit of in-depth uh, video of how I did it, um, or just a brief overview. Um, if you guys want any other videos or in-depth videos of anything about green tree pythons or the green tree frogs, please leave a comment and let me know because I've been interested to find out what you guys want to see. Alright, see you in the next bit.